this is a team effort. Here. Mike Karen, Jiggy Jake TV, also JiggyJakeTV.com. I'm Jigman Freud, and we're out here in a secluded location in Salina, Kansas. And uh, I'm going to get the hell out of the way and let the people with talent talk. Gentlemen, go ahead and jump in there. Introduce yourself. What's going on? Spark Plug, a.k.a. Wuhia. Local. And we're part of uh, MI Entertainment, which is Modern Intellectual Entertainment. Uh, we're missing one of our guys right now. He's in the studio right now fixing a couple of things, that uh, last-minute things that we need to get done. Uh, that's ORD. Uh, that's my cousin. Uh, I want to give a shout-out first off to my production team. As far as uh, Perico Productions, uh, C Banks, which is Chad Banks. We got some of his uh, beats on our, on this uh, mix tape that we're putting out tonight and some of the stuff that we're doing tonight. And Cautious, which is our engineer. And, uh, you know, he's, he's the brains behind the operation. So, from Salina, Calibre Pesado CP, Heavy Caliber Studios. That's us. Now, uh, tell me about the performance tonight. What are you guys going to... The performance tonight? Well, we got... Is there going to be any pyro? Any, any, no, <laughs> pyro. It, it ain't gonna be no fire. <laughs> no, 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 no. I say what? I say what like that? You can call us pyros because it's gonna be fire. I tell you that. So you can call us pyromaniacs. But uh, what we have tonight is, you know, about 15 minutes of stuff. We're gonna do a couple verses of a couple tracks, original tracks, and uh, one uh, original, all original song, except the beat. It's it is a mixtape track, but. Other than that, everything else is going to be nothing but original, and it's going to be it's going to be hot, man, fire. fire. Now, uh, a lot of people these days are hating on mixtapes. Mm -hmm. I joke about hating on mixtapes, yeah. but everybody thinks Ooh. I'm really hating on mixtapes. Why are why are why are so many people just well, down on mixtapes? Mixtapes tapes. is just a quick way to get music out, man. But I'm know? sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, but mixtapes. <laughs> Chad Banks. Mixtapes for sale? No. Free mixtapes? Yes. Yeah. Wait, are you selling your mixtape tonight? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? We got some original What I'm saying is, if there's original tracks on there, so I mean, it don't matter. To me, I don't hate on it. Uh, for one thing, you know, um, you, you have your cons, pros, you know what I'm saying? But as an artist, I mean, if you're trying to get heard at the level we're at, uh, which is a lower level underground, um, I don't find that a problem. But, I mean, a lot of people do. Um, but, like, you know, if you're, trying to, if you're trying to sell it for a profit, yeah, that's wrong. But if you're just trying to make a, a little bit of change here and there, just for your for your talents on there, yeah, and for your your work ethic or whatnot, I don't see a problem with it. But you know, those people can hate. But like Billy said, stop hating. Get with that. So come on, man, get with it. <laughs> now, uh, you guys got any big plans, tours, anything this summer, anything coming up? Not at the moment. Right now, we're just uh, this is our first show as far as like you know performing as, as a group. Um, he's gonna make his first performance tonight. His first. Uh, time on stage. Um, I've had a couple, you know, uh, scenes, you know, where I've been out. Um, as far as tours, I mean, we're going to take it one day at a time and get our music out there first before we actually start touring. But yeah, we plan on, on hitting it hard with some of these guys like Billy and maybe Chingo and some of these other guys, you know. We already got to a guy from Houston that came up. His name's Rashid. Shout out to Dope House Records. We got him on a couple of original tracks already. That's underground still, but um, homeboy came through. We got our connections. You know how Mexicans do it. We connected, so <laughs> you know we're gonna do something big with it. So yeah, we're gonna do it. Now uh, all the networking and everything you guys do, do you do primarily that online, or do you do it at the shows, or you mix of both, or both, both ways, man. Yeah, both ways. Yeah, it's a little whichever, bit of both. Whichever way comes. Yeah. yeah. Right now it's all word of mouth. Um, we do. We haven't got a, a whole page set up yet. Like I said, we're you know we're barely starting off. So um, as far as what we're gonna put out there, I guarantee you it's not gonna be that first timer stuff. You know what I mean? It's gonna be professional sounding stuff, professional yeah. type lyrics. I mean, you guys are gonna be blown away, guaranteed. And you guys are putting a lot of work into oh yeah getting it out there. Oh, yeah. So yeah. How, how how much work do you think you guys have put in on a daily basis on this stuff? Is I mean, are we talking? Is it a twenty-four hour thing? Or? No, not a twenty-four hour thing, but you know, <laughs> since, since we're a group, everybody works on it, you know, as much yeah. as they can. I work on it every week, you know, so it just depends on how much we can get in the studio. But that's cool. You know, we we you definitely stay professional from artist to artist. So, you know, we all put in our fourth. And I think it's going to be a good a good turnaround. Yeah. As far as how much work we put in, I mean, this goes back to the studio part. Um, I'm in a band, in a different band, Calibre Pesado, another shout out. Um, as far as how long I've been in the music game, I've been in the game for about 12 years now. Except the rap game we're just starting off with. Uh, I already have two Spanish tracks that we put out on a Spanish CD. 
um, and we have our own studio. I mean, we've been putting the work in for years. I mean, we got our own PA, our own bus, a lot of stuff. You know, we've been hustling on the grind, so now it's our grind. We're going to shift that to to individuals, artists like Loco, ORD, and myself, and a couple more up-and-coming ones. I uh, got a little cousin um, that's going to be putting it down. He's got one track on there, and another homeboy that's got a track on that mixtape. So, I mean, we're gonna, we've are gonna we been on the grind for a while. Now it's time to get it to the rap game, so... Now, uh, it, it seems that hip-hop is having another resurgence. A lot of people are getting interested in hip-hop. Why is that? Is it, It's just because every other kind of music sucks. Because everybody sounds the same. I just think people are opening up their, their thoughts a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Taking the chance. I honestly think it's a lifestyle. I mean, you either got hip-hop in you or you don't. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, brown, yellow, green, doesn't Pink. matter. I mean, it's a lifestyle and people like to, to hear about other people's lifestyles and, you know, experiences and that's what hip-hop is and it's a passion. Um, any music, I mean, you have influences from rock to heavy metal to, you know, oldies to, to jazz. All that's influenced in hip-hop, so I mean, it's music. It's music. Well, that's cool. Well, you guys got any shout-outs or anything or anybody want to thank? Shout-out to everybody that's, that's been helping us out, man. Shout-out to S-Town, you know. Midwest, yeah, represent. Yeah, main main shout out goes to Salina, S Town. We got a song for you guys, Salina Funk, original song. You'll hear it tonight. So seven eight five representing. Shout out to all my peoples, family, friends, enemies too, haters, everybody all of everybody. Everybody. Tonight, everybody. Shout out to everybody's performing tonight. Now, how do we find you guys on the internet? Right now, um, you can just go to our Calibre Pesado page, um, and we'll post some stuff there. Later on, we'll put a spark plug page, aka Mujia. We'll put a local page up. We'll put an ORD page, and we're also going to get our record label page up there. Um, oh. Give us about a month, and we're going to get everything up. We're going to have tracks galore on there. It's going to be so off and running. Yeah, once we come out with it, we're just going to throw it all out there and let everybody <laughs> soak it up. Um, the first leak's going to be tonight. We're going to get that mixtape. And like I said, we'll keep it a secret of whether what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> You'll have it in your hands, and I guarantee you, you guys are gonna love it. Guaranteed. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for doing this. All right, no problem, bro. Cool, man. And uh, thanks for watching Jiggy Jig TV. Well, it was supposed to be. Hey, we're gonna let you guys.